grand rising, people grand rising. Okay. It's your man Tony Red here, OK Forever Publishing, the Villa Project founder. Listen, if you haven't seen it already, I am shooting a video February 3rd. Me and my player partner, Young Cash, Duval Zone, um, for my fed up video. So, if you are an artist, get your motherfucking pen out. First off, I'm going to start by saying thank y'all in advance for bringing your funky ass up out there. Because I'm going to need y'all out there. We're trying to make this special. We're trying to make this a movie, man. Uh, trying to put Florida, Jacksonville on blast. And you probably say, put Jacksonville on blast. Niggas, people already put Jacksonville on blast. Yeah, of course. But I'm talking about in a way that's never been done before. And what I what you say, what what you mean by never been done before? Well, what I mean is it's been plenty of music videos shot here in Jacksonville. John Cash, Chameleon, uh probably back to the 69 boys, uh Limp Bizkit, uh even Boosted and came here and shot video. But the way I'm talking about shooting a video. Is the way it's never been done before. Not taking nothing away from these artists. Uh, what I'm about to explain to y'all is a reason why the video, like I'm trying to do, hasn't been done before. So, my plan is to shoot in front of the Florida Theater 128 East Forsyth. Uh, I already spoke to the good people down there. I've got permission to shoot there. Um, you know, the sidewalks in Jacksonville are public property. So if I wanted to shoot a regular video on the sidewalk, I could do that. And then, you know, it'd just be like any other video. That is not what this is. This is a full on production. I am trying to block off Forsyth Street. In order to do that, it takes a lot. So remember I was saying, get your pen out. Here we go. So. First thing, I went to Florida Theater, talked to them, got a green light. Boom. Next thing, went to City Hall. They directed me over to the Ed Ball Building. If you know what Quiznos is on Hogan Street, Ed Ball Building is right there where Vistar used to be at. They moved it down on Bay, but it used to be right there in this same building. You go to the fourth floor. The fourth floor is film. In fact, I got notes. <clears throat> film and TV development economic development i spoke with a mr todd rubin remember that name t-o-d-d-r-o-o-b-i-n i'm giving y'all this information because i believe in sharing information i'm not trying to hold nothing from nobody i want y'all everybody to win especially my local artists especially my local movie makers especially my local promoters especially anybody who's trying to be somebody in this city you don't have to lead you can do it right here so Spoke to Mr. Todd Rubin. They directed me to the online uh, website, which is filmjax at coj.net. That's filmjax at coj.net. I mean, dot net. That is the website. So I went on there to find out about city permits as far as shooting in the city. You say, Tony Red, what you need permits for? So when you're trying to block off a street, when you have multiple people that's going to be at a shoot, especially downtown where I'm doing it from, where I'm doing it at, is the reason why I say it hasn't been done like this before, because everybody shoots in the hood. Nobody worried about permits or anything like that. And all you see is the ghetto. You don't really get to see Jacksonville, the historic parts of Jacksonville, the parts that mostly white folk uh, have control over. No, this is our city. It's time for us to start doing this shit big like we want to do it. So, on this permit, there's three parts. First part is your basic information, uh, locations, things like that. Second part, street closures. On this street closure, it gets wicked. <laughs> it gets wicked. So, you're going to need to hit a public works department. You're going to have to get information from them. 
uh, you can contact me for any uh, phone numbers or any of that stuff after this post. Also, you're going to have to hit up Detective Crystal Gods or Detective L Lavender Henry. That's 904-630-2160. You can hit me with the numbers later. Uh, you have to speak to them about hiring police. See how many police you're going to hire because they have to be on the scene. Don't come to this fucking video shoot with no bullshit. Also, you have to have a three-hour minimum for these officers. You can't say, oh, I'm going to shoot an hour. And I just want to pay an hour. No, it's a three-hour minimum. So if you're shooting 30 minutes, if you're shooting 45 minutes, if you're shooting an hour and 15 minutes, you're going to have to pay them for three hours. Also, depending on how many people you have in your crew, as far as people that's working and the artist that's in the video, you are going to need work in, workman's comp. So, I only have five that's going to be the main characters and my cameraman and lighting. Only five people. So, I am exempt from workman's comp. But, you will need to create a workman's comp exempt letter, which they have an example on this same form on filmjackscoj.net. Uh, you have to draft up this letter and add it in with your application also the next part of the goddamn application you have to have short-term insurance turn red can i go to geico no turn red can i go to progressive no turn red can we use the general fuck no you have to go i'm gonna give you one event helper event helper now the thing with event helper insurance you have to have two million for this Two million for that, a million for this, a uh, hundred thousand for that, a hundred thousand for this, five thousand for this, five thousand for that. Uh, automobile, if you're gonna have automobiles in the in the video, uh, if you're using a drone, you have to have aircraft insurance. I'm giving you game right now. Take this knowledge. Uh, so within that, the insurance. One day. Is the same price as their minimum. Their minimum for short-term insurance is five days. Five days. Now, I'm going to give you some game on this. The best thing to do when you're doing something like this and you're going to get short-term insurance, which I'm not doing this time. I'm going, I got to get the insurance, but I'm not uh, doing what I'm about to tell you. So, within them five days... This insurance can cover multiple shoots or if you have a rain out or a cancellation for any purpose, it can hold you up for five days. You can get this insurance uh, and it, the price depend, it varies on exactly what you're doing, how many cars you're going to have there, how many people you're going to have there, all that type of stuff. How you doing? All right. So, event helper. That is short-term insurance. Okay. I ain't going to go into everything else. But I'm saying all that to say this. You might not know me. I, I, I hate giving them a rundown, but I've been in front of Atlantic Records. I've been in front of affiliates from the Wu-Tang. I've been in front of Savage Life NT. I've been in front of multiple record labels performing, uh, having conversations with these people. Um... And this is business. There is a business part to the show. That's why they call it show business. Artists in this city. If you're trying to make this city look good, you're trying to make yourself look good, the best way to do it and get yourself in these rooms with people is to make the city look so good that people want to come to the city. That's why I'm choosing to shoot down at the Florida Theater. You get what I'm saying? That's why I want the Florida sign prominent in the video. That's why the music that you hear me making mostly is non-detrimental. These record labels 
don't want to hear you talking about killing each other all the time. Yeah, we already know how this shit goes. That's how you get paid for a lot of hip-hop music. We don't have to follow that fucking trend. You really don't. I see a lot of you guys out there making that type of music, and it is not you. Trust me. I've been in the streets. It ain't you. Just quit the shit. Like... If you really want to make some music that's going to get some play, that's going to get in the movie, that's going to be, man, be yourself. Be yourself. You hear me? This shit is expensive. This shit ain't cheap. But you got to pay for what you want. I got a business degree, associates. I got halfway through my digital cinematography at Full Sail. Expensive. You get what I'm saying? I've been on the... Uh, it was an 80 city tour. I only did 10 cities because I came back and got myself in some fucking trouble. But this shit is not cheap. You have to put yourself in a position to win. I just gave you the format as far as your permits, as far as shooting major productions in this city. Now, I have a show tonight at La Villa. Pull up. I have a 10-hour session tomorrow at the studio. Sunday, I'm watching the goddamn Jaguars, but Monday morning, everything that I just had to list to you, what I'm giving you game on, I'm going to be attacking this shit head on. It's going to be expensive. I'm going to come out of my pockets and handle this shit because it's my dream. This is what I've been working for. This is what I went to school for. Honestly, this is why I left Atlanta so I can be able to chase and walk down my dreams but i need your motherfucking help so everybody who done sent donations to help the villa project get to fucking rolling loud south by west no, south by southwest coachella all these major platforms i need you again i need you again i need every follower that follows me send a dollar over a dollar if you can I got to come out and pay this shit anyway myself. But I need your help. I'm reaching out to, I don't call you fans. A lot of you motherfuckers don't even know me. You just see me posting music for years and years and years. And you say, oh, that nigga making music. He's a regular nigga. No, I'm not a regular motherfucker. I'm that motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? And I'm trying to get to that space. But I need your help. So, if you can, 